In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite defense for the Gun Bunch in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we're going to show you how to absolutely bag the Gun Bunch out of my Nickel 335 Odd Defense. The beauty of the Nickel 335 Odd Defense is it combines the best pressure in the game with some of the best coverage concepts and one of my most favorite for defending 3x1 formations, which is the Cover 6 uh, concept. Now, we're going to show you how to break this down and make this a little bit more effective uh, against the Gun Bunch in this video. So we're going to come out of the Nickel 335 Odd Cover 6. Now, if you want to get my full Nickel 335 Odd Defensive eBook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. You can get that for just 15 bucks, and I believe it's the best defense that you can run in Madden 22, especially for defending pass-heavy sets, because you're combining great coverage with incredible pressure. You're going to notice in this video how good the pressure really is. So what we're going to do from a setup perspective, and again, if you want to get that guide, it is linked in the description. You can get it for just 15 bucks. What we're going to do from a setup perspective is we are going to spread our defensive line. We're going to spread our linebackers. We're going to crash our defensive line to the right side of the screen. As you can see right here, this is what it should look like in the, in the uh, play art. And then what we're going to do is we're going to show blitz. That's going to pinch our linebackers and kind of pinch our defense down where we want them to be. From that point, we're going to man up the inside or, or the solo receiver onto that solo wide receiver, the solo corner uh, on the bunch side on the solo receiver. And then from there, we're going to drop the linebacker that's in that vertical hook. We're going to drop him into a curl flat. The last adjustment we're going to make is we're going to go ahead and put the middle linebacker into a mid-read, and then if you want to, you can drop the defensive end on the right side of the screen into either a three-rack hook zone or a bluff blitz or a hard flat, and you're going to see that this is going to create one of the most locked-down coverages that you're going to find for Gun Bunch. And the last adjustment we're going to make is we are just simply going to uh, highlight or individually spotlight the R1 receiver just so we can play a little bit better against some of the flooding concepts out of the gun bunch. And what you're going to see is um, against any kind of flood concept, it doesn't matter what kind of flood concept they're going to run, this is going to be absolutely locked down. Not only are they going to get instant pressure, but they're not even going to have time to throw the corner out. And if they do, they're going to be right in vicinity to be able to make a play. Now, one little secret little adjustment here is if they run um, a motion out look. So let's say, for example, you go through, you set up your play, um, you set up your play, and they come back and there is a motioned out uh, receiver on that bunch side. One simple little adjustment that you're going to make is you're going to take your middle linebacker and you're going to go ahead and you're going to cross man him onto the R1 receiver. That's going to help them in case they're doing any kind of verticals or any kind of bomb type of concept. And as you see, we're able to absolutely scream at the quarterback. Let me show you how this play works. This is one of the beauties of this concept because it's the only concept that I know of in terms of a match coverage that is going to be very, very consistent against the uh, cover six defense. Or I'm sorry, not cover six defense, but the cover, the flood concept from Gun Bunch. So I'm going to run the flood concept right here, and I just want to show you kind of what this looks like. So as you see here, this is my, my concept. Now, if you watch this little R1 receiver, you're going to see here that when I throw it to the out route, I've got a person right in the vicinity to be able to make a play. Now, because my pressure from this formation is so good, I'm going to go ahead and just block the running back to try to limit some of this pressure so that I can show you the coverage that you are creating out of this cover six. So again, you're going to spread your line. You're going to spread your linebackers, crash your line to the right, uh, show blitz, and then you're going to man up that solo receiver on the outside. And then from there, put a mid read out there, a hard flat. And then I like to spotlight the R1 receiver. And I also like to go ahead and just shade inside on that solo receiver. And what you're going to see here is if they are running the flood concept uh, from this and they block their running back, I want you to watch kind of how uh, good this covers this R1 receiver. Now, the R1 receiver, in my opinion, is the hardest route to guard from Gun Bunch. Let me show you that one more time. Now, it, it does work a little bit better personally um, in my opinion if if you are uh, running this with you know a little bit better personnel than what I have here on practice mode just because the the, 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 the man coverage zone coverage of this team is not the greatest um, but in mutt you're gonna have a little bit better coverage out there but anyways again we're just gonna spotlight the R1 receiver and if they run the flood concept what you're gonna see here is Typically, they're going to drop from that out route and go get that right there. We're not getting the drop. And if they, if you ever run into issues with that, um, all you have to do 
is just put your slot corner in a curl flat zone because you're already dropping your defensive end into a hard flat. So you see here, this is kind of the adjustment to the adjustment. We're just going to play curl flats across the board. Uh, obviously, we're going to go ahead and you know shade our coverage inside. Uh, and what you're going to see here is if they try to continue to run the flood concept, this looks pretty much exactly like cover six, but now you've got that purple flood, and now you take that away just like that. So I absolutely love this approach to defending this because curl flat zones in my personal opinion are one of the most effective zones in the game for taking away a couple different things that gun bunch users absolutely love to run one of those things being wheel route so for example uh, i'm going to show you this right here i'm going to come out of the mesh post and what you're going to notice is that if they run this wheel route right here this curl flat defender going to drop right into that area and take that away every single time so you've basically taken away the majority of what the gun bunch offense really likes to do the one thing that i'm going to suggest to you is whenever your user defending over the middle of the field here you just want to make sure and be a little bit cautious and understand that you know what you need to do from a user perspective is to go ahead and catch any crossers that might come your way so in this example i'm going to run verticals play you're going to see oh there's a crosser so i'm just going to follow the crosser and other than that everything is completely bagged Thanks for watching this video. If you want to get a more in-depth version of this 335 odd defense, I'd encourage you to get my nickel 335 odd defensive guide. I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. But the beauty of the 335 odd defense is that, like I said, it combines the best pressure in the game with, in my personal opinion, one of the best coverage schemes that you can use like this cover six um, to be able to absolutely take away the majority of what people that run the gun bunch absolutely love to do and you're going to be getting sack fumbles all day long thanks for watching this video if you want to get the 335 odd defensive ebook there's a link in the description and you can get that guide for just 15 bucks